the area of Philadelphia is known for a lot of things in racing. There are thoroughbred tracks and, of course, this harness track at Liberty Bell. There's another important facility to all horsemen located very near to Philadelphia. It's New Bolton Center, the large animal research and hospital facility of the University of Pennsylvania School of Veterinary Medicine. It's located just outside of Philadelphia. It's become perhaps the best known equine hospital in the entire world. It's here, for example, that Most Happy Fellow was brought when he broke his leg last fall. So was Mystic Park when he developed Potomac Fever last year. Treatment, research, and teaching all go on here. Dr. Richard McFeely is Associate Dean. We have a, a mission that's divided into three parts. Uh, first of all, is training veterinary students. The second is to provide service to the livestock and equine industry. And third is the development of new knowledge through research. Is it hard to balance the three? It's a difficult thing, but uh, many of our people wear all three hats. It's, it's uh, the teaching and service go hand in hand, and uh, many times we can dovetail the research in a very nice fashion. Among the important functions, outpatient diagnosis. New Bolton is within easy shipping distance of dozens of major farms and racetracks. There's also the famous recovery pool, used primarily for horses coming out of anesthesia, but also important in other treatment. Uh, how about uh, equine cardiology? This horse has a pacemaker inserted. Horses are brought here from all over the East, in fact, from all over the world for treatment of uh, many of the diseases and injuries that affect racehorses. And it obviously is extremely important to all horses. Kenny Rice is in the paddock, and he has some comments now about uh, equine medicine. Kenny? Thank you very much, Sharon. I'm with noted track veterinarian, Dr. Ken Sieber. And Dr. Sieber, some of the progress being made, I guess, would be associated with the fact that medicine is more specialized for these horses now as they are treated more and more as any athlete would be. That'd be a football player, a basketball player, or a horse racer, right? Exactly, Kenny. They're individuals. They're just like some of your great professional athletes. They have their same problems. Uh, some of them have knees like Joe Namath. Some of them have elbows like Sandy Koufax. And uh, they're all individuals, and again, they're, they're professional athletes. They have to race once a week, just like professional athletes play baseball or football, and they have to be treated accordingly. And I know everyone right here is taking a last-minute look at their horse always, right, making sure they warmed up okay, as we were talking a minute ago with Mylan Hanovers. Exactly. There's a lot of value to these animals. They want to make absolutely sure they're perfectly fit and in good shape before they race. Dr. Ken Sieber, good seeing you. Thank you very much for your time. Dr. Ken Sieber here in the paddock area, taking a look at some horses tonight, making sure everything's ready for the Breeders' Crown. Sharon? Thank you, Kenny. 